I am Luxa Vierts, the owner of Idsis's Dachshund Kennel. I am breeding standard size wire haired Dachshund dogs. The formation of the Dachshund breed can be traced back to the Middle Ages, although there are findings from the antique times on which short legged hunter dogs can be seen. It is quite probable that these dogs were also used for hunting foxes and badgers. They were formulated in Germany, with the involvement of French hunter dogs. First the short-haired version was formed. Later on the wire-haired ones were created, possibly with mixing terrier bloodlines in order to make the dachshunds more resistant against the bites of wild animals and harsh weather. The final version was the long-haired dachshund, which was created by mixing spaniels and setters into the bloodlines. Although today the long-haired version is not used for hunting, they have an extremely sensitive smelling ability. From all types, the wire-haired ones are most commonly used for hunting purposes. Otherwise, the dachshund have nine versions, three hair versions and three size variations. The mentioned short-haired, wire-haired and long-haired, and the standard size what you can see at us, the miniature, and the caninchen, which is German word for rabbits. The miniature and caninchen are mostly used for hunting rabbits, the standard sized ones are for foxes, badgers and even on boar. Their work is usually to find the wounded wild animals and war and work. The good dachshund does not fight with the game, their task is to rat out the game from their hiding places with their barking. The caninchens are not really used in our days for hunting, they are mainly pets today. The status of the standard type is quite similar. The main reason for this is that the dachshund is a very universal dog breed, they are very active, very sensitive dogs who learn very easily. If you spend enough time with dachshunds, they became fantastic pals and members of the family. Of course, you should never forget about their past and hunter instincts. One good example is what happened to the dog of one of our friends. This four-year-old dachshund was walking in the forest with his owner and the owner's son and found a hole in the ground. The dog went in and barked for 25 minutes, although he never in his life has seen any wild animals before. The dachshund is a perfect animal for a lot of people. Part of the dachshunds are very tough characters, who are ideal for owners who prefer a dog who knows who he is and behave tough in most situations. Another part of the dachshund population is of supple and mild character and not dominant at all. They are ideal for children or any owner who would not like to strive for the attention of their dogs. We can say that they are ideal friends for a lot of people. In my breeding work I concentrate on to create dachshunds with a very good and reliable nervous system, and I try to socialize them even in the first eight weeks of their life while they are with me. As the dachshund is basically an independent hunter-dog character, you must start socialization as early as it is possible. If the puppy experiences that people are basically good to them in their early age, it would be much easier to control them and live with them when they grow up. If you plan to buy a dachshund puppy, it is very important to check how they lived in the first part of their life and to avoid kennels where the puppies did not spend their first two months in the close company of people. Basically, the dachshund is a very healthy breed. With my seven dachshunds I have to visit the vet only for the necessary vaccinations, they do not have any health problems. Of course we have to talk about the so-called dachshund paralysis or intervertebral disc disease or IVDD. The dachshunds are prone to this disease because of their extremely long spinal column and short rib cage. To avoid this, you have to move your dog regularly and build their back muscles and avoid jumping, rough handling, or intense exercise, which place greater strain on the vertebrae, like frequent stair jumping. To whom I do not advise to have dachshunds are the owners who think that the dog should not be with humans, who usually leave their dog alone in the garden or in a closed place. The dachshund is not suitable for this, they are a very human-centered breed who feel well if they can be close to their owner. They are a very sensitive breed, 
quite similar to children, who cannot stand rude and violent behavior. You should be creative enough not to be rude with them, but let them understand what you want from them. For me, it is the most important in breeding that such dogs and puppies born that they bring happiness to their owner's life. I try to breed dogs with good nerves, who are healthy and nice. Based on the feedbacks of the owners and show results, I think, we are on the good road. Some years ago I decided that I will do therapy work with my dachshunds. One of my dogs is working actively with children and elderly people, and another is very close to the therapy exam. This is a work for us in which we can show that the dachshund is a very versatile breed, and they can be taught for everything that a well-trained therapy dog should know.